Have you ever wondered how a turbojet engine works? But before we delve into that, let's journey back to where it all began. The story of the turbojet engine starts in the 1930s with a man named Sir Frank Whittle. This British engineer had the foresight to imagine a propulsion system that could revolutionize air travel. However, the road to this breakthrough wasn't smooth sailing. Whittle faced numerous challenges, from skepticism to funding issues, but his determination never wavered. Over time, Whittle's design evolved, becoming more efficient and reliable. His work laid the foundation for the modern jet engines that we see today. His invention, the turbojet engine, is a marvel of engineering that has truly transformed the world of aviation. So that's how the turbojet engine was born, but how does it manage to propel a massive aircraft through the sky? To understand how a turbojet engine works, you need to grasp the basic principles of thrust and the role of air in this process. Thrust is a force that propels an object forward. In the case of a turbojet engine, it's the jet of exhaust gases shooting out from the back of the engine that creates this thrust. Now let's turn to the role of air. Air plays a pivotal role in creating thrust. It is sucked into the front of the engine by a fan, and this is where our journey through the turbojet engine begins. As air enters the engine, it's first compressed by a series of fan blades. This compression makes the air denser, increasing its potential energy. But we're not done yet. This compressed air is then funneled into a combustion chamber. The combustion chamber is where the magic happens. Here, fuel is injected into the compressed air and ignited. This combustion process releases a ton of energy, causing the air to expand rapidly. This rapidly expanding air then shoots out of the back of the engine, creating the thrust that propels the aircraft forward. All these steps are interconnected, forming a continuous cycle. Without the intake of air, there can be no compression. Without compression, there can be no efficient combustion. Without combustion, there can be no thrust. And without thrust, well, our aircraft simply won't take flight. It's like a well-choreographed dance, where each step relies on the previous one and sets the stage for the next. The intake, compression, combustion, and exhaust stages of a turbojet engine's operation are all vital to the engine's function. It's a fascinating process, demonstrating the incredible power of physics and engineering working together to conquer the skies. Every step in the process is crucial to the working of a turbojet engine, ensuring that an aircraft can take flight and navigate the skies. Turbojet engines revolutionized aviation, but what exactly did they change? Turbojet engines, with their unrivaled speed and efficiency, ushered in a new era of flight. Prior to their inception, propeller-driven aircraft were the norm. But the turbojet engine, with its higher speed capabilities, rewrote the rules of the game. This breakthrough in technology gave birth to the jet age. Commercial aviation was transformed, enabling airlines to offer faster, more efficient services. Transatlantic flights became commonplace, shrinking our world and making international travel more accessible to the masses. In the realm of military aviation, turbojet engines were a game changer. The speed and power of jet aircraft gave militaries worldwide a strategic advantage, altering the landscape of aerial warfare. And it didn't stop there. The turbojet engine was the stepping stone to even more advanced propulsion systems, like turbofan and scramjet engines. With the advent of turbojet engines, the sky was no longer the limit, it was just the beginning. 